Testament in leadership. Um, I, it's kind of hard today <laughs> after last night. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, when I joined the Marine Corps in 1992, I was scared. I was fearful, just like I am right now. Fear of the unknown, what's going to happen. But the one assurance, I'm, I'm not going to speak long because I don't talk long on the radio. But one thing I can be sure, and I'm not going to preach because I know I'm in the school, God is still in control. I was taken back by <coughs> events. I said, man, our, elect, our president-elect is, has not done in the military, hasn't done this, hasn't done this. But then after all the negativity, I still had to wake up and say, he can't do no more than what God's going to let him do. So I'm not going to worry about it no more. In fact, I'm going to get excited about it because I know who's in control. And that's when, when I was in the military. I didn't understand leadership. You make some decisions like, why we got to do this? Why we got to do this? Why we got to do this? And my mother told me, gave me a scripture in 2 Timothy. God has not given me the spirit of fear. So I'm not going to be fearful no more. So I've been, my phone's been blowing up all day long. I've been trying to encourage people like, don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. Don't worry about it. And you know what? I had to tell myself that too. Even being in the Marine Corps, going to Okinawa. Let me tell you something. Everybody in this room, we're in the greatest country that ever existed. I don't care who the president. People told me to oh, pack it up, going to Canada, going here. You don't want to go over there. The fact that you can just walk and be anything in this country that you want to be. Young people, if you want to be the president of the United States, ask President Obama. He was a president. He's still the president. If he, you know, let me tell you something. You have the right to be anything in this world. We have doctors. We have retired teachers. We have military people. You can be in this country anything you want to be. And so that lets me know, that gave me the reassurance that it's going to be all right. I didn't, so I, didn't, I, I got a little taken back. I got a little discouraged. I was like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And then I just like, you know what? My kids are going to be okay. Because what I'm doing, I'm putting inside of them, listen, you don't have to settle for nothing. Get your education. You get to do your homework. Start cleaning up your room. It starts with cleaning up the room. You don't know. When, let me tell you something, young people. When your parents tell you to clean your room up, it, discipline starts there. When you have to do the dishes, you don't want to do the dishes, it starts there. Listen, when I was in Marine Corps, they gave us, I'm going to tell you, we had to wash dishes. You would not believe how many dishes I had to wash. Yeah, it was, yeah, you would not believe. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Y'all get complaining about two or three people. How about two or three thousand? And it starts there, you know, I didn't want to accept discipline. I didn't want to accept it, but the fact that I learned from my parents and said, Harold, make, make your bed up. Do this, do this, do this. I didn't understand what discipline was all about. But now that I'm older now, I understand what all that meant. Everything had, everything lined up with that. Like, now, I get up in the morning, I'll be at work on time. I get up, my wife don't let me leave the house without making the bed now. <laughs> I said, here we go again. <laughs> But you know, it all, it all started way back then being disciplined. Yeah. So young people, don't get discouraged about, and, and listen, don't listen to all the rhetoric, don't listen to all the negativity. That's right. It's going to be okay. And, and older people, stop putting negativity inside of them. That's right. Speak up to them. Tell them it's going to be okay. I know y'all may have y'all little backroom conversation. Oh, this man going to do this. He ain't going to do nothing more than what God's going to let him do. So I'm going to get out of here. I want to tell y'all, it's going to be all right. We're in the greatest country. God bless America. And I thank y'all for